one thing that felt certain is that the Ravens would win. And they did just that. 21 consecutive preseason victories for the Baltimore Ravens. In that run, they have covered 18 of the 21 games. Usually, betting preseason is something that not everybody does. And those that do probably feel like it is a bit of an uphill battle sifting through who will play, who is going to be out. But the Ravens add comfortability. Because this has been a group that for years now, a half decade, that when it comes to preseason football, you can trust. You can trust this football team because they care about winning. And it's not so much as, Kevin, what they're going to do on the football field, right? Because if the coaching staff beats into you during the week, we got to win this game, we got to win this game, most organizations are saying, let's get a look at players. It doesn't matter so much if we win the game, but just if we get some guys on tape in certain situations, that's how we're going to evaluate. But if you look yesterday and what we talk about with the Ravens, you go over typically in the preseason, it's number one, Kevin, does a coach actually want to win the game? Do they have a great preseason record, a bad preseason record? It looks like they don't care what happens, but also the quarterback depth chart. I told you, they have a perfect, talk about the Ravens here, a perfect preseason depth chart. Take a look at this. Anthony Brown, 10 of 15. Tyler Huntley, 16, 16 of 18. And then Brett Huntley, 2 of 2. So it wasn't even about the passing. It's the mobile quarterback that can play, make plays off schedule while running the football. That's exactly what he got yesterday. Their quarterback rating combined, a 108.1 yesterday compared to Tennessee's at a 50.8. Now, I was pretty impressed there with Malik Willis. Not so much with the way, you know, 6 of 11 passing, no touchdowns. I don't even care about that. Sometimes it's just how the kid looks on the field and if he belongs. Look like physically he belonged on that football field yesterday. 